Hey everybody, 3467 here, and welcome back to more Dragon Warrior Monsters 2 Terror's Adventure. In the last episode, we actually explored the Pyre World. We saw some new monsters, we heard about some trouble with pirates and mermaids. And in this episode, er, we also got a Mad Gopher. In this episode, we're going to be doing some errands for our mom. Let's see. You've been going out a lot lately. Where do you go out to play? Oh, you're trying to save Great Loth? Well, my hero, how about an errand? Could you buy some love water? Drax Slime is badly sunburned, so I need some to treat its condition. Here's some money. Keep the change. Mom handed over 200 gold. Now, it's cool. If you've already been to the Pyro World, you already have some. Oh, you bought the love water. This will heal Drax Slime. Thank you, dear. Tara handed over the love water. I'll get you to run more errands. Oh, don't look so glum, dear. I think if you leave and come back... Oh, you'll run another, you'll run another errand? My, what has gotten into you? Will miracles never cease? Could you go buy a potion for me? Father's run out and down from overwork. Mom, Mama handed over 400 gold. Now, I don't think you can buy potions just yet, but I think you can find them in the pirate world. So what's cool about running errands for your mother is if you happen to find the item, you get to keep the change anyway. Now, something I never went over is if you get defeated in battle out in other worlds, you'll lose half of your money. So it's always a good idea to store it. Well, hold on real quick. Let's see if this guy... I don't think this guy has potions. Does he? I thought not. But he does have something that I'm going to invest in, which is D-scales. These are things that your monsters can hold. And it'll do various effects. And obviously these will increase defense by 5 when they hold it. It's always nice to have a little bit of stat boost. There will be better items later, but we might as well take advantage of what we have right now. I already went through the trouble of putting away the tiny metals in the vault, but let me just show you what the vault is. So basically, you can store and withdraw stuff for free in a seemingly indefinite amount of items. Let's deposit. Let's deposit some gold. Uh, I usually put in half of what I already have if I'm over, like, a thousand. That way I have a nice little, um storage. Uh, let's see. You can only hold a certain amount of items, so you want to make sure that you don't have more than what you need. I don't think I'll need any more than two warp staffs. Yeah, I found one off video. I also got an army ant off video, so that's good. Okay. Now that we're all done, we can go to the pirate world. Man, when this video goes up, I'm going to be... I, I would have already taken the driver's test for my license. I mean, it should be fine. I'm a good driver. I don't speed or anything, so it should be good. Still kind of nervous, though. But anyway, enough about me. Let's go to the pirate world. Or the sea world, I should say. Ooh, what's this? Tara found an herb. You don't have to hurt, hold on to herbs as often if you have a love water. But, you know... It's always nice to have a surplus of healing items, better than a lack thereof. So, our only other real thing we need to do is to go to that cave in the west. Now, I did say that, oh, that magic, er, that move right there was called Call Help, and sometimes unseeable monsters will come and will attack you, so you have to watch for that. So I did say there were monsters on the ocean, there, there are a lot. Ooh, I, I kind of like this song. Anyway, there will be some monsters that you will, you will find in the water. You won't find monsters as often, but I think they tend to be stronger. Well, at least that's been my experience with them anyway. But it's going to take forever to go that way. Let's go to this town. This is Port Ritz, where ships gather from all over the world. The pirates were swallowed by the sea after monsters overwhelmed them. Before they sank, they said to have hidden their treasures. Ooh, that ought be interesting. The old man in the tavern's neat. He tells me all sorts of things. I wish I would get kidnapped by some pirates one day. It'd be neat. Yeah. Fantastic role model. There's this old sailor man in the tavern who likes his grog too much. Or booze. 
When he had a few, he would regale you with tales of the high seas, but his stories tend to be a bit preposterous. I don't trust him. I don't know, they should be, at least be entertaining to listen to. Now here's your fancy christener. I don't know whether these guys cost more money because they have their whole little setup here, but... My ship sank in the eastern sea. We were sailing near a whirlpool and a huge suction cup tentacles reached out and grabbed the ship. It's terrifying to even recall that. That's actually referring to a s giant a squid monster that is out in the water in this world, but it is incredibly powerful. You don't want to go near it for at least another two worlds, so... There's a lighthouse to the east, but it's too dangerous. It's been overrun by monsters since the pirates stole the moon rock from the top of the lighthouse. Hmm. The port used to be lively in the past, but it's become run down. The pirates have all gone, but the port's still fading away. That's sad. Ooh, what do you have to say? Listen, do you know? Mermaids appear to love dancing. By the way, there's a cave west of Polona. A giant squid lives there. That squid is said to love to dance. I don't know if I want to see that. Could it be any more obvious? But it is nice to have... Sometimes RPGs are kind of... They never really are straightforward, so it's nice that every once in a while you know exactly what to do. The sea's level has gone down. Many shoals will have appeared. And that resulted in countless ships running aground in these parts. Hmm. The lighthouse has the moon rock installed at its pinnacle. It will glow at it would glow at night to light the way for mariners at sea. It was a gift from the mermaids, you see. That's cool. Let's go to the inn. Oh, I was ex oh, okay. When you're when you're out at sea, you get to see some peculiar sights. But when I saw a ghost ship loom around a thick fog, hair raising. I can imagine. Yeesh. This area was a lot more lively in the old days, but now it's just a death trap for any kind of boat. We're ringed by shoals. Not many captains will risk their boat to bother dealing with us. Hmm. Let's stay at the inn. It's only ten gold, and it's always nice to be fully healed. Now I wonder what what uh. Let's go visit that guy. Oh, by the way, you can check barrels. You'll fill the gigantic beam. So, keep in mind, you can check barrels, because sometimes they'll have stuff also. Terrapin Tiny Metal. So, it's always nice to check. You? I went to Polona a while back. You know, it's southwest of here, but I never got to see any mermaids. I was looking forward to it, too. All sorts of people come here from around the world, but a little kid with monsters? That's something you don't get to see too often, not even here. Hmm. I offer quality merchandise. Would you care to see my wares? I think this guy will have... No, he doesn't. I guess we'll have to wait on that potion. Let's go to the inn. Or the bar. Oh, God. Here we go again. Heh! <laughs> that old man. He was too grog to make any sense. Captain, sir, what'll we do? <laughs> Made me waste my time. We'll come back later in the inn. Come out. Hey, you're Tara, the farmer. Don't tell me you're looking for something to plug the navel. So Warbu asked you too, huh? But those monsters you're with, don't they look frail and wimpy? Hey! Look, I already got two sidekicks. I'll find the plug before you. Come on, team, let's go. Ah! Oh, snot. If I didn't have viewers, I'd tell you what for. Anyway. The volcanic island off to the coast is vicious to ships. Its ring of shoals keep boats away. The old fellow there, the instant he smells the sea monster, he wakes up, even if he's tanked on grog. That's a real sea dog, I'd say. Hit me up, bartender. When that old man gets grog, you can't move him with a crowbar. It's like he casts iron eyes on himself. What can we do about it? I believe that is a, a monster move, but I haven't... I have never encountered any monster with it, but it assume I assume it's for defense. Her uh, um, um, Huh. Well, he doesn't seem to be doing much, so I guess our only real lead is to get that squid thing. Let's go! Now oh, careful, these monsters are gonna start to get a little bit tougher as you go upper in the world. I mean, these monsters not being examples of that, but they will start getting tougher. There's no shame in training, training up your monsters over in the earlier areas, but 
at this point in the game, you're not gonna get any benefit, uh, not a huge benefit. Oh man, they just cast sleep. We put our monster to sleep. You're not gonna get a huge benefit from, um, from training the Oasis. It's gonna take a long time, so you wanna train earlier. Damn, we're gonna butts hand to us. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be winning. Let's try a little bit longer. If we still can't pull through, then we're gonna have to retreat. But we were able to defeat a monster. I mean, that's something. At this rate, it's gonna take like a whole other video in order to just get to that cave. So let me... Let me cut to when I finish this battle. Hold on a second. Alright, I'm back. So, that was a pretty tough fight. Ah, oh, man. Okay, these monsters. The Arrow Dog, the Facer, and the Pixie Kid. These guys are tough. So, again, you're going to want to try to level up a little bit more before you tackle any of these tougher monsters. As a matter of fact... I mean, we can try to take these guys on. This is where Genie comes in real handy, you know, if he's not still wild, in order to up your defense. But, again, these are some pretty tough monsters. I think I will be off-screen training my monsters somewhat before the, before the next video. But, at this rate, I don't think we're going to be getting to that supposed squid in the cave. Well, at least we were able to see some more of the world. But we are, we are making progress. We are definitely making progress. That's good. Eesh. Yeah, 13 damage on how your monsters are already. Some tough stuff. But Genie seems to be keep ignoring orders. I'm going to check his wildness, because that's starting to get a tad ridiculous. He's only listened to me once during the whole time. But, we seem to be right at the end of this battle. So yeah, these monsters are tough and will only get tougher. That squid that's been talking about, that is also a pretty tough boss fight. Slash is promoted to level 9. His stats seem to have gotten a good increase. Alright. He's still 84 wild. That's not very good. Do I still have any more of that pork? Yeah. He has a pork chop on him. And now he's at 74, which isn't a whole lot better, but it is something. Oh man, yeah. We did get thoroughly... Oh, come on. That, by the way, the monster to the left is a picky. But the escape route was cut off. So yeah. Ah, oh, dang. Slash is almost out. Let's use a love water on him. Okay, so, based on how I'm getting thrashed right now, you're not gonna wanna... You're not gonna wanna go all the way up to that third town until you've at least gained a, a couple more levels since after the... after the tournament fight. Ah, <sighs> Genie's still ignoring orders. Because as you can see here, the monsters are still incredibly tough and won't really let up. But, as this is another incredibly long battle, I'm going to cut to when this is over, so I'll meet you then. If I don't die, of course. And we're back! Whew! That was a tough battle. Oh, I know, this is me. Huh. So, I was hoping to go all the way to that squid thing, but it seems like that's going to have to be put off for another episode. Because there's no point in continuously getting my butt handed to me if I can't even, er, if it's going to take, at the rate that I'm going, it's going to take another three videos in order to get to the squid thing. So, unfortunately, I'm going to be, we're not going to be able to get to there. So, in the next episode, I'll be grinding a lot more. I'll show you my monsters right now. Slash is level 9, Cat is level 12, and Genie is and Genie is also level, er, Genie is level 10. So you can take a quick look at their stats, and I'll be updating you when I finish grinding. So, 
that way I won't be dying as often, because we're going to be facing some pretty tough boss battles later on. So, until then, this is 3467, signing off.